Welcome back everyone. Uh, last time we got a lot of quests from the Rivenfall Meadows. Uh, we explored the zone and talked to uh, pretty much everybody in it. Uh, we have uh, three, three quests uh, that uh, the foreigner was updated uh, when we talked to the, the mercenary uh, back there. There was also the craftsman problem. We have to go back to the merchant guild to to talk uh, about them, and the miller's tale, uh, which is uh, one of the most important quests uh, so far, um, about um, an old uh, stone um, that could be the could be a gateway to uh, uh, another. Another place called Down Below, kind of mythical place. So um, I think we're gonna tackle the most simple ones for now. Uh, so we have to go go back to Ravenfall and uh... okay, um, date. Uh, yeah. So yeah, let's start with the craftsman problem because it's the most uh, simple one to solve. If I remember correctly. And finally I think we could get some some experience this time. Um, oh yeah, it should be uh, pretty easy. Just 600 uh, Oh, experience points left. And okay. I really need to save, uh, put a, the the saves in another folder because it's. It's kind of hard to to find the right save in all this. Uh... Oh. What are you waiting for, Buena Gista? I'm a member of your fine guild, and I want to challenge your decision to not allow a sentient person to become a member. <laughs> there are reasons why you are a member, and reasons why your friend is not. Besides, how do I know you're really a member? You could just be the rejected person masquerading as a member in order to seem more attractive. Oh, good theory, sir. But I can prove I am indeed a member. You pass your papers through the slot door, and after several seconds, I pass back. All right, I believe you. But why on earth should this man be given a second chance? Who the hell is this person, anyway? Pass the shoemaker's papers through the doors. Oh, this guy? Yes, I remember now. He's a poor example of a businessman. How come? Well, if I recall correctly, he's a spineless, non-materialistic, overly religious idiot. Oh. Mm. Uh. So this guy like to discriminate? I thought he was the bottom line, the money that really matters. Well, that matters a lot, but this kid likes to project a certain image. So the ideal guild member is an aggressive, materialistic atheist? No, 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 it's not like that. We don't know creatures like these. Then... Why not let this guy join? Well, um, because while we don't encourage his ideals, we prefer our members to show a certain degree of them. What is so wrong with not meeting those ideals? Listen, an ideal merchant does, less, does let this customer walk all over him, cares about his product, cares about money, and doesn't credit every little bit of success to a god. Alright, I think I understand this insanity. Regardless of how well a merchant actually performs, he has to make the guild look good. Exactly. 
Oh, and have you considered that most of your customers don't give a damn about the guild? What? Of course they do. Are you sure? The customer only needs to see prices and goods. To him, the existence of a guild doesn't change anything. Besides, a customer would not let his negative thoughts about the guild get in the way of a great deal. Well, that's true and all. Oh, damn, alright. I'll see if I let this guy join. However, I do not promise anything. That's fine, sir, but put in a good word for him, please. Okay. Craftsman Science Document. So. Document is not signed by the Master of the Machine Guild. But, so, why? Okay, never mind. Also, the member of the Machine Guild still won't let me in. I persuaded one of them through the door. I have managed to have the Craftsman Document thing. Okay, so the description hasn't changed, but it is signed, so... Okay, it should work. Sorry. Mm. Uh, ah, there it is. Hello. So, I talked with the folks at the guild. And? Congratulations, you are now a member of the guild. Oh, thank Drayus. You just made me a very happy man. I found some herbs and a small bag in the wilderness. Maybe you can make use of them. Glad I could help. We deserve a spot in the guild. Yay! No. Yep, I have herbs. No. And, uh, oh, that's a gunpowder. I can make powdered arrows, and that's cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try that because I have some arrows with me. I think. Uh, just see. What do I need exactly? Fletcher. Come on, arrows back and we're getting powder. Oh, perfect. Okay. Mm, that creating batch of powdered arrows. Oh, yes, um, and Cabin cannot run. Yeah, th this, this is tedious, <laughs> because um, the, um, the arrows are, are very heavy, yes, too bad, uh, maybe, uh, what, oh, wait, okay, uh, Okay, no, never mind. Uh, I can hold them. I don't know why they. Okay. So, now let's go to. Go see downtown with the, the foreigner. Alright, so the. Uh, yeah, crafting problem. I've returned Pepper to Craftman, was very ecstatic. Unfortunately, so poor couldn't give me anything spectacular. Never mind. Uh, some experience at least. Uh, 150, okay. 
Because uh, I still uh, a bit less than four four hundred left. Hmm. Downtown and talk to the foreigner and then um, see the the museum. We'll learn a bit more about this stone. Yeah. Okay, before any pieces come and block the way. It happens too often. Oh, there she is. Hello. Again, in front of my eyes is a stranger who is not so strange anymore due to our meeting before in the past. As previously, she looks very pleased with the language skills and beans. Yes, well, I'm also glad we're not strangers anymore. In fact, I have some news for you. Very much the pleasing news is welcome, if it is pleasing. For here I stand all day and nothing happens. This is not a very exciting spot, I have to agree, but there's a messenger nearby who looks as though we must shoot your purpose. A soldier for hiring? To suit my purpose? As you have already with the world said? Yes. Is he brave, handsome, fearless, and true? His swordly ironing? Well, his competence and experience, I'd leave the rest for you to judge yourself. For how to look after judging, am I to puzzle? Is it fervent of me to travel to the location of his mister? There to make word with in the back and forth way? Yes, I think it would be a good idea for you to talk to him. Would he be in the way of? Oh, yes, how to find him. Uh, this is where it is. You tell the woman how to find the mercenary. Is it near or far? Whether or not I go. I'll be waiting. Come back in an hour or so. Well, you're back. What did you find? Sadly. This is the perfect man. All his part in order. Most rigorous and burly. But for the tragedy and upset, on his hand are the gigantic, bright, hideous, gaudy tattoo. I'm gathering they don't like his tattoo. She spits. Horrible. Torment. Tattoo. Never would this one hide the man with a horrible, bright tattoo. Perfect sure it'd be otherwise. You can't hire him with that tattoo no matter what, even though it's perfect otherwise. That's the precise meaning of the words. Mm. <laughs> yes, well, I'm learning. Uh, well, why don't I go and talk to him? Maybe there's something can be done. Okay. I know what to do. But... Mm, can do that much later. Uh, but, mm, no, it's not that. I'm not as lucky as I thought. Although Lady Salazar was satisfied with the mercenary in every other way, he has a tattoo on his hand that bothered her beyond imagination. What shall I do now? I'm getting tired of running back and forth. Is it meant to be a real adventurous fate? Seems so. Okay. 
No, to the museum. And I wonder if I got... No, I don't think I got points. Never mind. Okay. Oh. Let's talk to this guy again. Oh. Yes? Remembering the miller's tale. The founder's rock came from the old mill, didn't it? The miller that told me about it. A rock with old writing on it. So, you've talked to the miller? <laughs> that humbug. That fake historian. He told you the story of the founding of Ravenfall, I suppose. Well, yes. If he goes around telling every stranger that can buy the story of the founding of Ravenfall, then what on earth am I supposed to do? I ask you, what's my function? My one moment in the sun, gone. I could ask you some other questions. Didn't you already do that? I can't remember. Anyway, about the founder's rock. Yes? Uh, most rocks are very old, right? Gives you a harsh look. Yes, of course they are, but this one has writing on it that almost as rock as uh, as old as a rock. I don't suppose just anybody can tell what this writing says. No, a lot of adventurers have tried to figure it out. The writing has something to do with a place called Down Below, and then the city. Don't tell me, some kind of ruined ancient little city or underground elf place, right? Quite honestly, I don't know. No one does. There used to be a direct entrance from the sewers under the city into down below, and a lot of adventurers went through it, hunting in the dark for treasure. You're going to tell me that there's no entrance that way anymore, aren't you? Yes. The whole tunnel leading down below was collapsed a hundred years ago. So, if the answer to the mystery about this rock is down below, how am I supposed to get there? Who said you were supposed to get there? A bit put out by a disagreeable attitude. Well, what do you expect me to do, hearing a story like this? I'm all about the adventures, you know. I have to find out what happens when somebody figures out what the runes say. Good luck with that. If I knew the answer to that, I'd have sent down the party of explorers myself. Any ideas? He strokes in mind, turning to wonder from in conversation. The rock came from the mill. The city has it moved there here to preserve it, as an historical artifact, you see. But it came from the mill. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for this wonderful clue. I ought to put a fiddle over your head. Uh, thanks so much for being helpful. Okay. Um, it's not a good idea to be rude to people, especially not in this game. Um, Musing Keeper is a good violinist to his temper is not as sweet as his music. Told me about the founder's rock, the rock with rune writing on it. Uh, that was moved to the museum from the waterfall that powers the old miller side of the city. According to the museum keeper, the rock is some kind of gate into down below, and many adventurers have vanished over the years. There used to be tunnel access to down below too, but the city had the tunnel collapsed long ago. If I can find someone to teach me how to read the runes, which look elvish, I might be able to open this gate. So. But, um... The museum keeper hinted at going back to the mill, so I'm going to do that right now, so I won't forget. Mm, to... Uh, okay. Maybe I should hire the rickshaw driver because I'm a bit tired of um, running around all the time.
Okay. So, yeah, there he is. Let's talk about the temptation, friend. For mere 18 gold pieces, you can feel like a king. Great. Here's a whistle. If you need me or one of my brothers, blow it and we'll come, it Im we'll come immediately. Very good, my friend. Sorry, my cat did out. Oh. From the Brickshaw driver will fund me services. If I have the money, we take me the bread and the for. Okay. Um. Let's go back to the mill. And we'll maybe see the place where the stone used to be. Oh. -ho. Does the young one disturb my peace by accident, or does he seek me here in the quiet for a reason? This question so distant and cool has to be forbidding. Um, I was curious as to who you might be. You're waiting here as if you're expecting someone to join you. Smiles, but the effect is chilling. Perhaps I am. Do you know where you are? Besides the waterfall, near Ravenfall? Near the old mill that was here before the town was founded? Oh, those are such young, young places. Do you know what this place was before your first miller ever shaped his mill trace and water wheel? A grove sacred to an old magician, an ancient mage who haunted this region. A sacred grove? Um, I guess the place has that kind of ambience. Where was it found a rock? The what? There was a rock here. A portal stone, and this place was a portal stone grove, the entrance to an underground labyrinth. An entrance? The rune on the stones opened some kind of portal? Only if the old magician gave his permission, of course. The rock was attended to him. Who was he? What happened to him? Dead long before any of you young ones were here. Who was he? I would have to make up a story for that. He was here when I was young. I helped to bring him down. Oh, that's a long story. I want his trust to the gift, a lamp that would burn forever. That's the beginning of the story. The rest I won't tell. I think about that effect wants you not to press her for any more details. A never burning lamp. It's still down there somewhere, down below, where I used to keep a hiding place. Surely you can tell me we're down here. Only if the old magician gave his permission, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you come here, here now and again to another memory of his mage? Not to honor, youngling. To have the peace of knowing that he is gone. He must have been a terrible man, if he's been dead so long and yet you still visit his grave. Where his grave lies, I don't know. I visit to test the world, to learn whether I can taste his spirit in, on the air. He is a thing of magic. One day he might take shape again. Today. I taste his spirit. His spirit? He is back? Shake her head thoughtfully, looking over waving for. Not back, but steering, restless. As if at some insult, I can feel him. <clears throat> I could help you get rid of him again. So she's clearly amused, and then she looks at you. Perhaps you can. Teach me to read the wounds of the rock, and I'll go down below and find him. As if you could see him, as if you could deal with him at all. But, yes, the runes, I will teach you what they mean. Then I'll be able to use the runes to open a portal, right? 
Mimpli watches you, the wind rises, and she looks around the grove. The grove. Yes, eventually. What do you mean? Just two thousand bright lights around you, your head aches, a piercing pain. Now you have what you want, youngling. Good luck to you. Find him, and find a way to appease him. Feel as something, this rearranging part of your brain. What's his name? Better you don't know it. If you say it, you could draw him back. How do I find him? Someone carries him. You'll know. Better leave. Okay. So I know he carries him. <laughs> and, uh, but I don't think I can talk to this uh, character yet. Um, now other things to do. Oh, and anyway, this quest is uh, a bit difficult, so we still have to look for some experience. So, okay, um, yeah, so we just solved one of three quests for now, but that's fine. Um, to um, wealthy residents, the rural guild, sewer supervisor, and handsome pirates. Okay. Mm. So maybe um, into Margaret Road. We have three um, main main path to uh, at the Stunk Forest. Grave Road or um, Agnet Helm. So I think I'm gonna go with uh, Margrave Road would be the safer option at this point. Just gonna explore the the surroundings and. Uh, And I know there are things to do in um, in the zone uh, on the uh, Mulgrave Road. And we're gonna we're gonna explore there and uh, get Mulgrave Road, my map. Okay, do some exploration. Oh, it's a uh, oh, potion bait. Interesting. And talk to the the peasant and maybe the noble in this area. Good day to you, it was a pleasure to speak with you. Okay, doesn't have anything to say. Maybe I can steal him. <laughs> yep. Mm, kimchi jars. Uh, not supposed to be kimchi, but anyway. So oh, we know there's a, another miller here. And um, I don't think I can. No. Maybe. Another one. Okay, no one's here. Yay! Get her bag. Perfect. Not in her bag yet. Yeah. Her, sorry. <laughs> oh, danger. 
I'm gonna say because it, it's just a bore, but it, it's a bit tough, so... If I remember correctly, I had trouble with it. So yeah, let's try that. Yeah, it's tough. Ah, uh, next. No. Ah. Uh, oh no, it's too fragile. Now maybe if I try with the powder the rose or uh, buff up the bit a little bit. I really wonder where, when I can get spells because mm, it's strange that uh, a ranger is supposed to to have spells and I have nothing on. I can't even learn them. It's, it's really strange. Let's try again. Maybe um, potion of death armor. Oh, yeah, let's try that. No, come back, come back, come back. Oh, there's nothing. Um, okay. Oh, powdered arrows. Ah, uh, I don't want to hurt the beetle. Come on, aim! Seriously. Ah. Uh. Ah. Oh. oh no. My. No, it's a pack beetle, it's not supposed to to fight. Ah. Okay, let's try it. Another time for him. Um Yeah, for the arrows. Let's try this in case. And <sighs> really, ah, I must have my him. No, 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 no. Please all do something. Ah, yikes. Ah, there we go. My problem is it hurts uh, my companions too, so... Oh, really? Oh. And uh, the way to... Uh, come on! Yay! Good! And that's mm, 91 XP. Not bad. Hmm. Yeah. Two, uh, two hundred and so to go. Ah. Hello. Welcome. It was a pleasure to speak with you. Okay. <clears throat> so, about this guys. Hello there, adventurer. So, I don't look like a common peasant in your eyes. 
<laughs> Not really. To tell the truth, you exactly look like a common adventurer. There are so many of them everywhere. My eagle eyes can't miss them. I'm not a common adventurer. Every single one of you believes that. For some weird reason, you are so overconfident in your abilities. Now, probably overconfident people, but my so-called overconfidence lies in expertise and skills. Become a bit more serious. And again, how long have you been an adventurer? I'll let you wonder. Looking at you, well, you might have started your career, um, say, a year or two ago, at most. Mm. <laughs> Good eyes. You should change your occupation. With such remarkable abilities, you could probably become a royal tax collector or something similar. Seems to be flattered by your words. He almost blushes like a maiden. Oh, thank you very much. Unfortunately, I'm not so clever, yet I'm working on it. What do you mean? You attend a university course? No, no, I just started elementary school. But it's a good one, Ravenfall, you know. I missed schooling in my childhood and now I'm completing my education. <laughs> Can't use complete waste of time. Uh, very, very praiseworthy indeed. Accept my congratulations. Thank you, Queen like a schoolboy. So, what are you doing around here? It seems to be much, much friendlier than before. Um, can you tell me what kind of places I can find you in this area? If you go on the Mulgrave Road, you will eventually end up, what a surprise, Mulgrave Point. After that, there are stretches of the Sea of Fallen Stars. Oh, the sea. Um, what kind of people are living around this road? There's a huge man over there, pointing to the end of the area. Uh, there lives a very rich man with his beautiful wife. Actually, they own this land. Are they rich then? That manor seems to be quite expensive. They are very rich, mister, but not the richest. After the king, the richest family is abandoned in family in Ravenfall. Mm. What do you know about the Vanden family? I've already told you everything I know about them. I'm just a simple practical man. As far as I know, the old man is an ardent collector of ancient items. I already know that. Back to these people. Mm. That manor is rather beautiful. How does it treat these people? What did you hear? I don't really want to spread gossip, but he's said to be a petty tyrant. He serves all we complain about his attitude. The world works like this. The richer you are, the more powerful you get. And the more powerful you get, the, the more stupid you become. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to say, but never mind. So, that man over there... Mm. I'd like to know more about the Margrave Road. Um, what is that to know more about Margrave Point? Is it a place worth visiting? Well, there are strange folks living there. Their leader is a battle-hardened soldier. The entire village is made up of veteran soldiers. Strange, eh? The social activities might be very shallow. Well, if you go on the Margrave Road, you will eventually end up in... Uh, okay. No. You must know this area thoroughly. What about the other directions? If you go beyond the gyps gypsy cart camp? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. I think you patrol all the civilized areas. Yes, eventually you visit those places too, but very rarely. They have their own defense, you know. As for your question, even like Nathan has a strong guard. What sort of people are they, in your opinion? Yet another strange bunch of people from all over the realm. They are some kind of zealots who follow their self proclaimed leader, Mr. Bowbender. I don't really know what they're up to, but I don't even care. Yet they're all to the low, don't they? Exactly. And though they are not too popular among the council members of Ravenfall, at least I've heard rumors about that. We can't do anything. There's no reason. Mm. lots may always do something unforeseen. One must be cautious when dealing with such people. Yes, I must agree. We talk about something else. Um, how does it feel to be one of the king's patrolmen? Ugh, this is a very unusual question. We're not really used to this, are we, lad? Companions are rather speechless. It's an uplifting feeling. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a good word to describe how we feel when cat monsters are part in the name of righteousness. Um, So 
So you're very loyal when it comes to defending the assets of your rulers. King and Queen Azurak are very good to their subordinates. I've never seen any better in all my life. What a pity somebody turned the Queen to stone. Hmm, I saw that. Turned the Queen to stone? Now that's amazing. What have you heard? A roguish sect of wizards swarmed into the palace and wanted to kidnap the Queen, but the royal guards prevented them. While they escaped with their lives, they cast a nasty spell on her. Nice story. It is refreshing to hear some information. Are you sure it's true? Quite true. I heard it in the three shamrocks. Hmm. Uh -huh. um, oh, there's another thing. Let's talk about regular monsters a bit. Are there many of them in the vicinity of Ravenfall? We keep the civilized areas clan of them and occasionally go and do raids in the outlying forest too. Strange as it is, those nasty usually are stopped there. They don't get closer, as if knowing what fate waits for them. Do you know where they're coming from? I hired some adventurers a couple of months ago and they figured that out. Um, as it turned out, they are coming from the northern areas by the thousand. Strange. Okay, have a good day. So, what have we learned? Uh, it'd be worth it to come back to the three shamrocks to learn more about the queen. Uh, the Queen's Curse. Um. More um, about the Queen's Curse. Okay. And uh, another thing now, monsters. They go right in the frontline forest. Uh, the nasty stuff there, but don't get closer. Okay. We had some adventurers a couple of months ago and figured that out. They are coming from the northern area by the thousand. Um, area full of monsters. Okay. Oh, let's explore the rest of the zone. Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, panning side. Back it down. There's a, oh, there's two plants and a mining rock, but I'm, I'm not going to be a miner this time, so I can prevent it. I think it would be better to be a miner and a blacksmith with a, a fighter character, and I'm not a fighter. I'm definitely going to to add strength to to this one because yeah it's uh, I'm not happy with the um, the damage not enough I'm pretty sure you need the strength to give more damage with your bow dexterity does not is not everything. Hmm. <clears throat> There's a cave. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, can't talk to them. Ah, there's a cauldron. Um, yeah, I can show you a bit how it works. So, uh, the problem is we can't use the cauldrons directly in the game because there's a, a bug. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to open the console and um, you can see how I do it. Oh, debug mod with um, open with um, Shift, CTRL and um, F12. Um, uh, so we go to MW script. Uh, already have the um, the script uh, set with uh, implicit main. It's important to uh, to check that. Uh, and we're gonna pick the object about this cauldron, execute, and here's the dialog. Oh, I can brew a lot of potions. I don't need um, uh, bottles for that, so that's great. And again, you don't have to to write the code all the time, so it's good. There's just a problem with these potions, it's you can't sell them. They're for your adventure only. The only... Um, I think the only craft that can earn you money is uh, gold panning. But I'm not sure. I don't remember what the potion of the hunting does exactly. Potion of the Avenger. Uh, it's useful for traps. Because it uh, identifies him. Identifies them. Cute. Potion of the Avenger. It doesn't disable the traps, but. I think you can see them at least. Never. Yeah, never one. Now it's important to to use the habilis cauldron often enough because you get uh, overwhelmed by plants <laughs> pretty easily. So yeah, the cauldron. Okay, yeah. that's a shame that we have to use um, to shit to to use the the cauldron. But uh, what can we do? What else can we do? Um, oh, more peasant. Hello. You're living in a cave. Why not at houses? This is what God gave us. We are humble peasants. We can't expect more from life. This is already more than a lot of people might achieve. And there's a landlord. He's our support. Um. Come on, you're like cavemen. Civilized people live in houses or tents at least. Believe me, this cave is good enough. Tent? Oh no. Um. Mm. Um. It's a bit of a out of character to to say this, but um. You know, right of man, if you want, you were created for a bit. Um, yeah, because if, I don't know if you would change a lot of things, but yeah, I'm gonna, something should be done. What do you mean? You want to buy houses for us or what? This is good enough for people. The best, I say. Period. Hmm. Man's behavior peculiar. He recites his nonsense if you're reading the book. I wonder why. Okay. Oh. Because I think there's a bit more to it, but uh, cave dwelling people are very strange, they accept their lot and don't want to make their life better. I wonder why. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe the woman can tell me a bit more. A pleasure to speak with you. Okay. Mm. Nothing. I'll just take it again. You pick on her. Oh, that's a bit. Of, come with me. Um, okay. Come. You can try to talk with. Um, Oh, there you are. I hope I won't block the way. This is a very annoying bug. No, there's um, nothing here. Never mind. Okay, then. Okay. Nice day. Ah! Okay. Well, as a god. Halto, this is the heart of Lord uh, Shavashat. What's your business here? Um, I want to exchange words with your master. He ordered me to keep everyone away from his house. If you'll excuse me. Um, I have a clinking press here that might change your mind. Place is now very stern. Do you want to bribe me, eh? Bribe? Me? I'm not that kind of man, understand? Cut your head, Burma. Get out of my face! Mm. I have various items to sell. I'm sure your master would be interested in some of them. Get lost! Peddlers are not welcome here! I'm not a peddler, good man. I'm Bran, humble trader of quality goods. There are some magical items in my inventory. My master loathes magic. Get away from here before I do something you would rue very soon. Uh, okay. Maybe we'll talk again in the near future. Hardly, mister. Hardly. Okay. I found a very nice house on Margaret Road. It's guarded by a very ordinary man coming to self guard. I have to laugh. Problem is, he doesn't want to let me in. I should seek someone who could help me. So... Hey, I want to ask you something. Yes, my lord? There's that nut house over here. What's that? You knock like them? I have no problem, don't master. He's the best man. You're not... Never mind. I want to get through this guard. He doesn't want to let me in. He's a tough egg. He would defend his... Uh, our master even at the price of his life. He's extremely loyal. Is there anything I could give him? A bottle of wine, a couple of gold pieces, a nice piece of something? I don't know, my lord. I don't know him. Maybe others do. Have you asked my brother? Okay. Alright, go on with your clothes in. Are you venturing or sightseeing? Mm, patience, Beetle. And I have some experience points, so yeah, it's good. It's worth it. Um, Mm. Got a couple of points left after the, the brother. Twin brother, apparently. Day -day. Good day to you. Stop there! Let me ask you something before you go on. I'm listening to you, good lord. I hope I'll be able to help. The nature of my inquiry is rather simple. I want to get inside that manor over there, but the guard blocks my way. You should tell him you are in a, a long-lost relative or something like that. That idea has already gone through my mind, but I'm not sure it would work. I need a more reliable solution. Sorry, I'm afraid I can help you. Why don't you go and try in the cave? There are many people who might know how to soften them up. Thanks for the tip. Oh, let's go. 
back to the cave. <sighs> Why do the police areas have to be <laughs> so huge? <sighs> now at some points you can get... Um, sorry, you can get speed potions. I'm going to use them a lot. Or you can also have uh, speed boots, but they're they're expensive. Um, I'm definitely going to look for them. Let's see if these people know something about that guard. I don't want to stay for long. I have a simple question that needs to be answered. Ask away. I don't know if I can answer, but I'll do my best. I want to talk with your landlord, but his gate guard doesn't want to let me in. What do you think I should do? Eh, this is a simple question. Leave them alone. Lord Shadershad doesn't like visitors. Actually, he doesn't like anyone. What do you mean? Are you mistreated? No man looks round. Well, I don't want to spread harmful gossip. We have a place to sleep, we have food to eat, we have everything you might need. Let's get this straight. Do you have any idea what I should do to get past the guard? I hope you with pleasure. Uh, why don't you bribe him? I have already tried that. No chance. He doesn't like money or whatever. Sorry then, I can't help you. I don't think anyone could help you here. The scent of a strange meal struck to no still. Was it basilisk? Oh my. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, the peasant woman maybe she knows something. <clears throat> Hello, there. Hello there. I don't think she's the right person. Let's ask, ask her though. Yes? You look like someone who wants to ask a lot of questions. Do I? Maybe one question would be enough this time. I don't want to rub your precious time. You don't rub my time, really. As a matter of fact, we are glad that someone visits our poor about. Well, living in a cave isn't a life prospect, I admit. Dancers spend half of their time in them caves, them caves don't they? <laughs> this is good, a typical tavern tale that is circulated round the realm. Isn't it true? Listen, I haven't come to discuss my sleeping habits. Instead, I'd like to put an important question. How could I enter the landlord's house? To the gate. <laughs> You've caught me on a good day. Will you elaborate your statement, please? I've already tried to persuade the guard, but he won't let me in. Well, I don't know how you could persuade him, but I know that he has a good friend, namely the miller. Miller? Mm, this is new to me. If I were you, I would talk to him. Okay. And of course, the miller is on the exact opposite side of the cave. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny otherwise? Yeah, I complain sometimes that I am, I'm really enjoying this mod, so... And I guess the the huge areas are um, here for realism, so I don't really mind that. I just wish my character wasn't so so slow. Hmm. Hmm. 
by the gate guard. Somebody told me that this man I want to get information about is your good friend. Signs worried and suddenly. Oh, and who might that be? Shall I let you figure out? No, there's no point in that. So, what am I supposed to run around like a fool to confirm that your Lord's Gate Guard is indeed your friend? He's not a real friend. Tell the truth, he's not my friend at all. You should be a bit more talkative. I don't want to drag everything out of you by force. You won a lot of money from me some weeks ago, but gambling is against the Lord's will. He's trying to shy away from the wrath of Lord Sh uh, Shivisha. I don't... I can't pronounce his name. Uh, I see. Seems to be scared of you. Thanks for telling me this. So, well, man is a gambler. Okay. I met Milo who was kind enough to give me a hint on what I should do. Now, I don't really know what I should do exactly, but... <laughs> maybe to... Blackmail him. Let's go see the guard. And leads to nothing. I've talked with your friend. My friend? I don't have friends. It seems both of you prefer falsehood to truth. Not that it matters, anyway. If you let me in peacefully, I won't tell your master about these gambling affairs of yours. I don't think he would be happy. Fume with rage. I think you want to, uh, me to allow you into the house. If I do that, you have an easy go with telling my master what you have learned. I should kill you right here on the spot. You like your life better, don't you? Let's forget that conversation and let me in. Yay! Ooh, and I have... Yay! Level up! Not like a boar. Don't double cross me again. Hey, hey. I leveled up. Oh, great. Maybe I can figure out how to get spells, finally. Um, brown... Uh, run four, okay. Manager, uh, so. I'm just going to read some information, uh, make a room in the woods, and martial skills they need it equal to fighter, but they lack the latter's dedication to the craft of fighting. This is skill and training special thick enemy, uh, except the role of a protector. Skills allow him to move qu quickly and stick to the shadows, special natural sitting, special knowledge of certain type of creature. And draw natural power to cast divine spells. To cast a spell, the ninja must have a wisdom score of 10 plus the spells level. Okay, but I have enough uh, wisdom. That's weird. No more related chance of spell failure is ignored. Uh, okay. Yeah, man, why not have spells? A bit of strength. Okay. Maybe I don't have enough spellcraft. Identify spells. Yeah, I'm gonna go with identify and uh, with um, animal empathy, concentration, heal, hide, listen, move silently, persuade. 
Okay. Hmm. Really don't know how I can get spells. Oh! There they are. They appeared suddenly. Um. In casting my companion. I have a companion. <laughs> so, uh. Direction. I have animal empathy, but. Palace. Uh, no, apparently I don't have an. I don't have a companion. All right. So maybe if that's uh, the summon or enchanted creature. Mm. Okay. Uh, what would be the most resist element? Is nice. The cantrips. I don't have those. No. Okay. I'm a bit stronger now. It's not enough, but never know. Oh yeah. Mm. Maybe we we'll do that later, because I have my level now, so. We can stop here and uh, talk to the landlord uh, another time because it's a it's a long way to Ravenfall. Um, I'm gonna save here. And yeah, so next time, talk to the landlord, go back to Ravenfall, um, come back again. Hopefully we will have enough money to to solve the problem. I don't think, yeah, no, maybe not. But uh, yeah, so we will see how this quest plays out, and next time we'll go visit uh, Margrave Point and explore the area, talk to people, and uh, maybe hopefully have uh, another companion to explore the the sewers with. So yeah, I'm going to stop there and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.